Elon Musk slams Amazon's Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, as feud with Jeff Bezos continues. Tolkien is turning in his grave. This is by Jesse Whitlock. This came out this morning, 2.17 a.m. And, yeah, Elon Musk, not a fan of uh, We Was Rangs and shit. Hate it. So, this show, I, I watched the first two episodes, and this is basically, like I said, I I've never read the books. I've never read the books, but I've seen the movies. I haven't seen the Hobbit movies. I've seen the, you know, the Jackson movies. And fantastic, uh, fantastic works of cinema. Um, you know, and by all accounts, you know, everybody, everybody liked those. There, it's the, the extended versions have been called. You know, some of the it's the best trilogy. You know, cinematically ever made. So it, it's hard for me to argue with that, having never read the books. Um, is I guess that the work, you know, really paid homage to homage. You know, Jackson said he didn't want to inject any politics. They didn't want to inject their own ideological beliefs into the movies that he made based on the works of Tolkien. So here we are. Amazon spends a billion dollars to create diverse fan fiction. And, you know, I talked about this a couple videos ago. We've discussed it on live streams in the past. This is ridiculous. You're, you're bastardizing something that people truly love and hold near and dear. And this is like British, English folklore. That's what Middle Earth is based on. But you seem these modern, you know, showrunners and creators and people at Amazon seem to think that, oh, diversity, 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 diversity. It's like if, uh, in, in you know, they were gonna remake Black Panther. Say they never made Black Panther 2. And they're like, we need to reboot the character of Black Panther. And they're like, I don't know, let's cast you know, Bill Hader as Black Panther. People would lose their fucking minds. People would lose their minds. And that's the thing is like, oh, well, there's Black Dwarves. There's this, okay, so there's Black Dwarves and Black Elves. There can be white Wakandan. Oh, well, Bucky was in Wakanda. Well, Bucky's not Wakandan, though. He was just staying there. And, you know, this whole, oh, colonizer, colonizer. Who, you know, not, not to dig too deep into history. Not school book history, not Mr. Wells's history, but history, nevertheless. I, I will say this. And I'll make this very uh, ambiguous, this statement, but who, uh, you want to call people colonizers and blame, blame them for this and that, and you know, oh, well, you know, the white man came here and started taking our ancestors, and well, hmm, I'm not talking about Wakanda, I'm talking about real Africa, not, not, not fake, made up Wakanda, which some people think is a real thing or possible to be real I got news for you it's it's not that's not a reality it's not a reality that will ever happen um, but yeah let, let's just say that the stronger tribes absorbed the the weaker tribes and then sold them so that's how and that still goes on around the world you know there's still things like that but that's an inconvenient truth that American leftist cult members don't want to talk about and all that ideological garbage plays into this entertainment and that is the reason is this oh well this is a form of cultural reparations for you know not having you in these stories from the word go and it's like well like I said uh, seeing white Wakandans would be as weird as seeing a black dwarf okay or, or, or a black Harfoot and apparently the Harfoots are hobbits and they weren't even around in this age but Amazon in their fan in their billion dollar fan fiction decided that it would be a good idea to do that even going so far as to have the uh, the little girl the little girls that are Harfoots be basically ripoffs of Samwise and Frodo which is absolutely fucking hilarious <laughs> and then if you call them out on it you're a bigot or a misogynist or whatever. Let's get into this and see what these weirdos are yelling about uh, at Elon Musk. Elon Musk's verdict on Amazon's massive budget drama series, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Tolkien is turning in his grave. The Tesla CEO took to Twitter to slam the series with a pair of short tweets. The second read, almost every male character so far is a coward, a jerk, or both. Only Galadriel is brave, smart, and nice. He's not wrong. Regardless of Musk's views, The Rings of Power has been a hit for Prime Video. That's because so many of us hate watched it. I'm guilty. With data earlier this week revealing the J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay co-created show took more than 25 million viewers in its first day, 
This marked the best performance on Amazon for an original ever. The eight-episode first season will run up until October 14th. This show's bad. Um, and I believe it was Patrick McKay who said that, well, we really had to build this world from the ground up. Excuse me? You had to build this world from the ground up? Tolkien didn't create this world that your fan fiction's based in? Let's, let's think about that before you go on any further and embarrass yourself. Here's uh, the Musk tweets right here. 106,000 likes. Um, 6.2 thousand replies. We'll, we'll take a look through that thread in a minute. Uh, Musk, who's currently tangled the web, trying to exit his proposed $44 billion takeover of social site Twitter, has been in competition with Amazon founder and executive chairman Jeff Bezos for years and regularly trolls his business on social media. Bezos has responded in kind several times over the years. And it's hilarious that they that they they'll they'll bring that in and they'll try to demonize uh, Musk for backing out of buying Twitter when Twitter lied to him about everything. The billionaires have both spent huge sums on their space flight businesses. Musk owns SpaceX and Bezos founded Blue Origin, and have often criticized each other's operations. The pair has variously swapped places as the planet's wealthiest person, but Musk is currently owning that title with a net worth about $254 billion. The Rings of Power series lead Galadriel, played by Morphin Clark, who of course came out in the media, attacked fans, you know, the, the usual uh, boilerplate uh, sexist, misogynist fans, blah, 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 racist fans, has herself been a target of criticism from online trolls. Here it is, online trolls. They'll call me an online troll because I'm making this video with complaints generally claiming the regal nature of the character in the original J.R.R. Tolkien novels, and Peter Jackson films has been replaced by an all-action warrior elf queen. Th that's exactly what they did. That's exactly what they did. You know, um, she, she was a magic user. Not... Not a warrior. Not a warrior. This is stupid. I'm not a hero or a warrior. The series is set thousands of years before Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit stories and features a much younger Galadriel, which in theory provides context on the differences. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It does not. And it says, you, yeah, well, let's, let's take a look at some of these comments underneath the article. I tried to leave one, but it wouldn't let me. I will never watch a show, and I've watched the extended cuts of all six movies multiple times each. In all my readings, Gil-Galad was ever vigilant, vigilant, not like the character in the show. Also, elves don't quit. And that opening sequence of Galadriel's hunt where all the males lay their weapons down was poor. Twitter should ban this Martian. Says the censorship Nazi. See? These are, these are leftists. Musk is exactly right. You don't have to be a troll to see the series as a block of wood. Elon Musk. Almost every male character so far is a coward, jerk, or both. You mean like you? Anonymous. <laughs> Tolkien spinning his grave because he was a Catholic fundamentalist twat. See? You mean Amazon's own data, that's right. See, ugh, another rich Trumpy troublemaker. Nobody cares what you think, Elon. See, that's the thing right there. He's not, Elon Musk is not a conservative. I don't understand why these, well, I do understand because these people are idiots. But let's go over here to Twitter and take a look at some of the, uh, the responses. Look at this. He's right. 90% of my comments are bots. Look at, look at, see? Mr. Musk, the fan of Menace, is always accepting new members. Join our not so safe space in Rex semester. Big shout out to Data Racer. He's brave, smart, and nice. Elrond is neither a coward nor a jerk. No, he's an idiot. That character's. That's Don Lemon. Yeah. He left the tunnel without even seeing if it's an orc to run from the sound. Yeah, Legolas would have never done that. Legolas, that gets a like. Legolas would have never done that. Galadriel is nice. And Galadriel has nothing in common with the real Galadriel from the books, aside from being blonde. Galadriel from the books. Not a 20-something action girl during the Second Age. She's been an adult for centuries at this point. Rebelled against God and joined Feanor's quest to Middle-earth to rule a kingdom of her own. Banned from ever returning to Valinor. What are you talking about? Elrond is smarter than Galadriel. Always possible. Also, the Black Elf is a good dude. The new Galadriel boyfriend is somehow good. And the Dwarf is also a good guy. 
What are you saying, dude? Totally woke, conspiratorial. You right there. Let's let's take a look at this guy. Actor, Critico, Escritor, humorista, productor, artista, CEO. I don't know who this idiot is, but 637,000 followers for this moron. It's Wolking, not Tolkien. That gets a like. How do I say I don't want black people on a show without saying it? See that? That's 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 so that's such a cop out right there. That's such a cop out. And 431 morons clapped like seals for that. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand this. Not even close to being true. Also, you're just pissed Galadriel killed a troll herself or something. Seriously, get off that ridiculous anti-woke train. It's embarrassing. This moron is 356. Oh, it's Angry Joe. It's the Angry Cuck Show. He's passed out L's to Elon Musk because he's broke and he's mad. In cinema, females are heroes. Males are jerks. Females win against males 10 times their size 100% of the time. Yes. Every recent movie with a fight between an extremely muscular male and a normal looking female ended with the female dominating the guy. It's so cliche at this point. The underdog always wins in movies. Don't be mad because women are finally getting a chance to play roles out of the damsel in distress. In my experience, men and women are equally brave and equally or equally pathetic. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, 18, I have 18 years of martial arts, and I know girls that weigh 20 pounds less than me that can tear my arms off, and I'm no slouch. Skills, and, no, no. Does your martial arts experience come from watching movies? Oh, and here's Super Frog. Here's another, uh, yeah, 322 followers. Um, yeah, of course. Oh, God. These people. God, these people are hilarious. These people? You're basically suggesting you'd rather watch a huge guy pummel a small woman, and I can't even describe how creepy that is. This this is this is an idiot right here. This is an idiot. I mean these people are these people are absolutely absolutely ridiculous. And, oh, there it is right there. In foul. In foul. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to quote tweet this because this guy's a moron. Look, everyone. He used a made up word to that in reality is. I'll say him. Him. I hope I hope there's pronouns in the bio too. projecting his own insecurities if I can spell and shortcomings on to someone else who dis who dare to disagree about <laughs> I hope she sees this bro there we go. There we go. Let's let's take a look at this bio. DM for copy and pasting NFT services. Oh Jesus. What a way to loudly announce you're a terrifying incel. Oh my god. Another one. These people socialist, of course. Socialist. Well, what a surprise. What a surprise that this person is a socialist. I uh, figures. All right, so my opinion of this show, it's bad. Now, the acting is bad, the writing is bad. I'm not saying that the show isn't visually stunning because that is about the nicest thing that I can say about it is the aesthetics of the show, not the costumes, but the sets, um, the, the visuals, the, the landscape uh, is, is gorgeous. Don't they look lovely, June? It's gorgeous. That's about the best thing I can say about this show. Fabulous, Harry. I love the feathers. Other than that, it was boring. It was ridiculous. The characters, like I said, Galadriel was ridiculously overpowered. Um, you know, seven of her seven of her elves 
uh, warriors couldn't beat that snow troll, but she comes in in two seconds and it's dead. I mean, you know, she's not a warrior. So let's let's be honest. This is ridiculous. Elon hit this one right on the head, um, and it pissed off the weirdos on Twitter. But now it's your turn. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you watched Rings of Power? Are you boycotting it? I'm not a boycotter. I have a YouTube channel. I have content to make. So I, I don't boycott things. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I don't. You can, you can, you're free to boycott whatever you want. You're absolutely free to do that. But don't, don't expect me to. I need to make content. So that's what I do. I review things. I look at things. And if that, if that bothers you, then so be it. Whatever. I, I don't care. But I have videos to make. So I watched it. It wasn't good. And that's what I got to say about that. Um, we got much more coming up on the channel here. So smash the like button. Like I said, if today's the day I've earned it, subscribe to the channel. We got channel memberships you can join for $2.99 as a Kazooian, $4.99 as a Harvey Wukuian producer tier. So much more, so much more in the works, ladies and gents. Uh, do all the YouTube things, not just for me, for your other favorite YouTubers as well, as we greatly appreciate it. And that's it, gang. I'm Etep Wukuian and the place to be reviews. I've been here with all the yous. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow. I'll catch you on the next one. It's better to burn out than to fade away. I could do this all. Fade out.